There can be a little bit of um, uncertainty from an audience. They come in and they gather around the edge. They don't know what's going to happen. People are stood around going, oh, I thought they were going to be bells, but they're not. You don't quite know what's going to happen. You don't know what the sounds are going to be. Gradually, those sounds mutate into a slightly strange, slightly warped bell field, field of bell sounds. As soon as the pieces start moving, as soon as they start swinging backwards and forwards or spinning around or whatever they're doing and sound comes out, they realize that it's much more interesting to move. And I really like the way that they become a kind of community of people. I really like making works which go outdoors. What I really love is that after many years of having this idea, we've managed with a huge team of people to make this thing happen and to use this opportunity of the PRS Commission, the new Music Biennial Commission, to make that happen. I think it transports you, doesn't it? It transports you. Um, I think it's like a magical, magical tale, really. Just walking around and hearing the sound, it was, it was magical. Really, really magical. Well, I just thought it was absolutely wonderful. There was something sort of therapeutic about it, very calming. I just loved how eerie it was with all the bells going up and down, um, really original, and I love the kind of structure of the bells. I just enjoyed the whole thing. I enjoyed the sounds coming and going and mingling, and I enjoyed wandering around and everything. It's just been lovely.